음악 좋아하세요? 저는 첼로 연주를 듣는 게 좋더라고요. 언젠가 배워보고 싶네요. 직접 연주하는 음악은 또 다를 테니까. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Egmac. This is the Limbus Company for Purchase Knight the Third. Um, I don't know what I, I just uploaded. I think what I just finished uploading is uh, the lottery combo, so that was nice, but I've been finagling around with the hard mode version of this, and I actually found a pretty decent way to do it. Granted, we're not going to get all of the missions out of it, but we might get a... So then, predation. It is possible to solo this. It's not easy. It isn't... There is a decent chance of failure, but since the failure refunds the entry cost, it doesn't actually matter. And what's even funnier is that you can do it without most... You can do it with the backup team of base identities. All you need is someone willing to lend you their Dawn Office Fixer, Sinclair. Now then. Things to keep in mind. Try not to use Base Ryoshu. Base Ryoshu has a very specifically double-edged sword of a passive. One ally with the lowest HP deals and takes 20% more damage. But then it requires Gluttony Resonance, which means it's only going to trigger if you corrode Sinclair, and you probably shouldn't be doing that. You're more likely to die first. Um... I'm using you know, W-Core Don Quixote here. You don't need to, you can use base version of her. This gives her plus one final power for our first skill. Alternatively, you can get 10% more PS damage, that's fine. Um, forced over here is a bit tricky to work with. If you have base forced, it gives out offense level down at 25% chance. N forced, on the other hand, gives 15 SP to someone to the lowest SP ally if you trigger 3 lust resonance. That is actually something we can do here. Um, in other terms. I guess you could also go for Lobcore Remnant Force if you're more worried about survival than keeping your SP up. Base Yi Sang gives us SP up. Base Hong Lu will also give us SP up, but if you have the Liu Association Hong Lu, then that's actually a lot better because what he does, he gives our plus one burn count with the effects of skill attack skills and coins. That is fantastic for our current version of Sinclair. We get plus defense effect for Mersault. You could use the 7 association Ryoshu. That is a possibility, but you don't have to. Base Heathcliff gives us um, extra damage. Base Rodian gives us extra damage. Base Utis has a zero effect ability. Enemies below 0 SP take 30% more damage, which is a problem because they don't have SP gauges. But oh uh, well. If you have any choice, then it... If you have a choice, then you might as well get G-Core in Utes because she gives out randomly attack power up, defense power up, or protection. Which are nice things to just get randomly. Um, for Gregor here, he has several different ways that you can get healing. So, heal 5 HP base for 3 Gloom. Alternatively, heal 5 HP for 5 Lust. So he does actually get, he gets his healing in gear a lot faster that way. If you have the Gloom. The one other option that you'd have for terms of survival, although I don't think he has any four coin skills, so this wouldn't be any good. The alternative is 
The ally with the least HP heals 5 HP after winning a clash, so you will actually heal off a lot of damage. The one catch I'd say is that it's gluttony resources. So you are actually going to run out of it should you need to pull Ego. Um, so options that we have here. Base Ishmael gives plus one clash power should we drop below 50% HP. There is a very real possibility that this will happen, so it's nice to have her on this. Um, if we go for base, if we go for she Ishmael, then gain counter skill power. Sadly, not going to be any use whatsoever because we don't have counter skills in play. If you are going for Maid Ryoshu, I liked the idea, but then I remembered. Oh right, it takes a, it takes a pride resonance. One ally with low speed deals five percent blunt damage for every three burn count on the target. It is actually possible to rack up a lot of burn with these guys, so you could actually see that kicking in. And yeah, that's just sinking, that's not important. Now, the actual man himself. So what we have here is a tier 4, level 45, Dawn Office Sinclair. Inflict burn, etc, etc. I'm pretty sure you've seen all these before somewhere else. But most importantly is that we have Lantern over here. This is a tier 4 Lantern. This is basically our emergency get out of jail free card. If we do end up at very low health, we can use this to undo that. So then, let's go. So how, whether we can pull this off or not, depends on how badly the first turns go. So as you can see, Tiny Wing Beats hurts a lot. This is a Wrath skill which is hitting us in our weakness. Starve Fluttering and Wing Beat. Stigmatize will hopefully win the clash here. Hmm. So I think the way that it goes is that for some weird reason we're going to clash with this one before this one. If we don't, then uh, bad things might happen. No, for some reason they decided to be uncooperative. Now one thing that you aren't going to be able to do is um, the challenge for don't ever let the queen eat one of the, her fairy subjects. Because as you just saw there, we weren't able to deal enough damage to knock that out. So now, let's go. Again, we cannot let this guy through. We cannot let him get this clash, so blazing strike. Second Blazing Strike goes on here because we have a slight bit of Wrath Resonance is going to let that attack hit better. I don't mind losing this Clash so much. And I guess, well... Okay, you can have his defensive skill. Yeah, this is actually the attack that hurts the most if it goes through because this is the one attack that inflicts bleed potency as opposed to everything else inflicting bleed count. Oh, where did that 9 of 6 come from? I think we might have already lost.
Yep, as you can see, things can get way out of hand if they line up incorrectly. Like I said at the start, this isn't a very this isn't a likely thing to go off, but it is something you can do. But because they refund the price, we just go straight back in. I don't actually know what went wrong there. Oh, I think it's starved fluttering. This is an attack we can't let get through either. Because that also gave us a lot of bleed potency. And bleed potency is the thing we need to avoid in this fight rather than the bleed count. So, assign the guard skill to the enemy with the highest speed. If it's Fairy Queen that has the highest speed that needs to be intercepted, then look for the fastest body part and take the leftmost skill. As it is, because we have this 5 speed fairy over here, it's a lot easier to work with. How did you do that? Okay, this is a bad turn for us because we have two lines of uh, wing... We have two lurrows of tiny wing beats to take care of. Okay, this is the faster one. We have to intercept it with Blazing Strike. This is the slower one, this can just get Sunset Blade. Leftmost, the rightmost body parts, leftmost attack slot. It should work. Now we start setting her on fire. Blazing Strike because it has the highest uh, attack roof. Then hit the left arm, hit the right arm, and hit the little fairy itself. <laughs> Now, the, see, the thing is that if you are staggered, there is still a chance that they'll roll low enough that Sinclair will be alive at the end. If this happens, then you can... You, um, okay, after we're done beating everything up here, let's just say that... Actually, this is kind of a bad situation because we have two tiny wing beats going on. Let's just say that Sinclair is at stupid low health, and we don't have any resources left to feed him. You swap over to guard skills and block as much as possible. Hopefully you won't be getting any tiny wing beats. Whistles... Well, whispers will help keep your SP going, but it's possible you don't have it that forced going. But in that case, you'll probably have Yi Seng and Hong Lu to back you up. What you're trying to do is stall out so that uh, Gregor can get your health back enough that you can survive one use of an attack. Because you have to remember, if you die from bleed, then it doesn't matter how much you're going to heal. 
The next step is that once you can survive uh, one or two coin uses, that's when you play Lantern, preferably on your fastest opponent. So, heal two allies with the lowest HP by 15% of their max HP. On hit, gain attack weight at low health. This can completely undo all the damage that you've taken across the fight. But you have to make sure that it's on the fastest enemy and that you can survive the bleed damage. Now that said, uh, something that I would like to do is hit you with this. And hit you with this. Now we can line that up with there, this up like that. Who needs more burn? Body. Honglu should be giving us extra burn count, but it's possible it isn't. That's what Sunset Blade is for, though. Now, Impending Day is a different type of heal. It's a very good heal if you can get it on an opponent. If you corrode it, it does give you a lot of attack power, but at the cost of also inflicting a lot of bleed, which is dangerous in a fight where bleed count is thrown out a lot. I mean, you might dodge, but I don't really care. This is a fight for making the new identity look a lot cooler than it actually is. I feel like both of them are pretty fine as they are. Keep in mind that Impending Day's actual use is for shuffling your resistances. In exchange for not being able to completely negate their gluttony attacks, you can negate their wrath attacks, which might be important early on if you get access to it. She keeps spawning new ads, so she doesn't... This is actually a rather different fight to the normal version. Might be a bit too much of a style kill, but you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, 
멈추고 싶지 않아. 다음 나라. As it was, there was enough burn on the target that it killed her, so that does count for an objective. Yeah, even with minimal investment, you can actually make a lot of good, nice things happen if you just have a level max Sinclair, so check your friends, if they have one, you can get into the hard mode, probably. Anyway, um, I've got to get back to figuring out how I'm going to finish off these missions, um... Well, obviously I could just burn the Fairy Queen in easy mode, but easy mode also has that tiny little thing about the boss will, will start rolling 20s on everything. If anything, the reason hard mode is difficult is simply because it doesn't auto-level you. Uh, well, yeah, this is the other objective you wouldn't be able to get because it, you'd be taking... There's, you, you take too many unfair hits right at the start. Ugh. Anyway, um, until next time, guys, take care. I'll see you all around.
여전히 무섭고 고비 그럼에도 망설이면 나아갈 수 없어 여전히 무섭고 겁이 나 그럼에도 멈추고 싶지 않아 이 결정 속에서 하올라라 말하지 말고 이 결정 속에서 하올라라 또한 산재물이 되어라 여전히 무섭고 겁이 나 그럼에도 멈추고 싶지 않아 나무와 함께 헤어 넘겨드리죠 여전히 무섭고 겁이 나 그럼에도 멈추고 싶지 않아 또한 산재물이 되어라 이 경적 속에서 다올라라 여전히 무서워 그럼에도 멈추고 싶지 않아 